Hello guys, KP Shamino here with a new video for Cyberpunk 2077. And in this video I'm going to show you guys how you need to get epic weapon mods. It works on clothing too, uh, so you need to craft it. But the main problem is, I saw a lot of videos from people that did this, wikis too, but they never say when you can do it. So I started to investigate. Uh, so I started at level 28, I started to craft every level 500 to 1000 mods, and at level 31 it proc to epic. So what you need to do is you just need to craft mods the whole time. Uh, you can have green ones, you can have rare ones, and you can have epic ones. Uh, so, and I think you can have legendary ones too. So I read somewhere that there are guys that craft legendaries. And that it gets better with epic procs the higher my level goes after level 31. But very important to get epics be level 31. So you guys can see I made 280 items and I got two epics. So you need to click a lot of times. But I think like I said I hope that the higher the level of me that I got more procs. Those guys say it I cannot confirm it but I think it's possible that uh, that it's working like that. Uh, so another thing that somebody said, I cannot uh, test that because my crafting was already very high. But somebody said that you need to have uh, crafting 13 to uh, 13 in the skill to do that. Unlocks crafting specs for epic weapons, combat gadgets and cyberware. I'm not sure that you need it, but it's possible. So if you're level 31 and you got all the perks that I'm now going to say to you guys and you still cannot get the epic, uh, yet be sure that you got this crafting. I cannot confirm that. I cannot test that. Uh, I was already level 19 when I hit uh, level 31. So I cannot confirm that. The perks that you need to have of course, true craftsman for rare items. Uh, uh, then grease monkey. Otherwise, you cannot craft the epics. They are not going to proc. And then take this too. You never know. Uh, maybe you're on a level that you can get this. Just get it. Uh, it's only one perk point. And that are the stuff that you need to have. So, you guys can see it. Uh, so, what did I do? I just crafted. Uh, I got now four crafting recipes. So... Always be aware because there is a very big misunderstanding about the, the crafting specs or the crafting recipes. So a lot of people think if I see that in a video, I can get it in that shop. Uh, take it from me. I never found uh, one crafting recipe where the video shows me it. I think it's possible that certain... Uh, shops are going to give it easier but that does not mean that you are ever going to find it restarting forward time I see it in every YouTube video guess what it never worked for me uh, so what, what I think what is very important that is I saw something uh, so I saw something in those stores so here I'm in Well Springs and here I am in uh, in Haywood so you got two cloth shops here and one weapon shop. And I got six of my seven legendary crafting recipes for my clothing in those. They are very rich. I think that has something to do with it. Uh, so, yeah, the richer the shop, I think the more chance that you got to get very expensive equipment. Another thing that always works is the position. So if it is a drop in the world... That's something that I tested. It's always accurate. So if you want to get, for example, uh, a certain mod, just do it on the YouTube location crafting recipe. Uh, and it will be there for you too. I never had it that it was not on that position. Uh, so it can, it's possible that it's maybe not on that position, but I always had it on that position. So to give you guys an overview, so I crafted two uh, I crafted two mods and you guys can see it here. So you need to craft a lot of stuff. Uh, so in here you can see. Here is my epic crunch. Because I'm using that in my weapon. And my epic armadillo. I will show you guys where you can find it. Armadillo uh, is almo almost always at the same position. Uh, and this one I'm going to show you guys the shop. But it's possible. It's, it's almost... 
yeah, not possible that you will find it there, but I will show you guys it. Otherwise, people are going to ask, yeah, where is that shop? I will say it to you guys. So that's what you need to do, guys. I cannot say more. And by the way, this crafting is one of the best on higher crafting if you got a lot of perks to get a shitload of green uh, rare uh, components. It's one of the best crafting that you can do. So I'm going to disassemble them all now. Uh, and it's very good because I'm making so, mu so uh, much mats with it. The guys that saw my money farm about... Uh, about how you need to make 400k every hour with crafting. I did it. I'm now on 1 million for 2 hours. So I'm using it in that video too. Uh, maybe a little bit later I will make a video about how uh, you need to do the best way to, to gather components on every level. Uh, and this is one of them. So here you guys can see it. I'm going to craft a little bit more because it's not a lot. But it's... Uh, it's if you want to min-max uh, or go to the high builds, mods are always something that is going to boost your build with so much. Because you got so many sockets and it's unbelievable. The moment that I went with rare uh, mods in my gear, I went like from 500 to 1500 TPS on my weapon. Just to give you guys an example. Okay, the crunch. Where can you find it? The crunch I found here. Uh, so it's in Little uh, China, they call it, I think. Is it Little China? Uh, yeah, it's over here. So Little China. So I started here and it's uh, the first weapon dealer that I saw. Uh, where is he, by the way? I'm getting blind. Ah, it was over here. So it's this one. So I started here. It's on this position. So that you need to get it. And then the other one I will show you guys. It's part of the main quest too. But maybe you guys missed it. Uh, and I read somewhere that you can get on that position before you're on the main quest. So it's a cement fabric. Uh, fabric factory. Uh, and uh, you got three uh, crafting recipes in the basement. Uh, so that's really good. And one of them is the armadillo. A lot of people are using it. I'm using it too. So you need to do Riders of the, of the Storm. It's part of the main quest. And it's over here. So you guys can see it. Here is a road from the city. Uh, and then you need to go here to the south. And here is the cement factory. And in the basement you can find four recipes. So here is the most important. The uh, armadillo. Uh, then the next one is uh, I think somewhere here. Yeah, here is the, the backpacker. And here is the uh, other one, I think. I need to watch it. Did I miss it somewhere? Is it here? I think it's on the other side that I need to be. No, it pens. So somewhere I missed uh, something. Uh, was it here? No. I think it was in the rows here. I guess, no, this one I already got. It's this one. Here it is. The penetrator. I think this is the crit one. So that was it, guys. So be sure that you're level 31. It's possible that you need to have the crafting skill on 13 too. Take the perks. Uh, yeah, keep crafting. Now you guys know this is what I need and start crafting. If you craft, of course, 500 mods and you don't have it, there is something wrong. Uh, so always be aware of that. Uh, and I show you guys the two uh, mods that I was using in the video. So thanks for watching guys. The next video that I'm going to make is I'm going to make a video about all the components and the best way to get them on low level and the best way to get them on high level because there is a difference. So uh, thanks for watching. Have fun. Bye bye.